John's asking, do I need to be concerned about rain or dew with a Wolf River coil on an overnight deployment? Thinking more about the coax connectors. You know, I don't, the, the coil itself, I think, is is very water resistant. I've had one set up in my backyard for an entire winter as a, as a vertical antenna. Um, yeah. What I usually do is, if, I, if it's going to rain, uh, you know, just take a roll of electrical tape and tape up the connector and you'll be fine. You know, I don't I don't think you need to do anything more substantial than that with your with your Wolf River coil. Yeah, the Wolf River coil will be fine. I get nervous about the PL 259s when it when they're getting soaking wet mm -hmm. because they're they're not designed to be in any way waterproof. No, they're not. So, so uh, the worst thing that could happen would be the water seep through the PL 259 and then work its way up that from you know a little ways into your coax and then then you're then you got a problem yeah and then your coax is pretty shot so yeah but uh yeah i, I for a weekend you know probably not unless it you know that's not going to be a much of an issue unless it's you know really raining you know cats and dogs and 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 things like that but uh I've, I usually, I've, if I'm going to hide my PL259s, I just slip them in a Ziploc bag. Mm -hmm. you know, if you have like a, like a gallon size Ziploc, and just, you know, enough to, you can slide the connectors in there so they're not sitting in water or having rain directly fall on them. That's yes. what I do. But And I've done that too. I've put a plastic baggie over, over like my, um, you know, in-fed transformers and that. And I always keep a roll of electrical tape with me with you know in, the, in in my kit so that if it's going to be raining i can you know you know, just just a quick tape of the connector and yep. um that's it's that's good uh brent's got an idea uh he uses a, a water bottle to, that fits perfectly over the whip and the coil and i've had somebody i've had i think i might have recommended this to brent because somebody recommended it to me <laughs> i don't remember but yeah a, um, you know like a like a, a one liter bottle um it just um, you know take the uh, cut the bottom off, and then put the top you know put the antenna the whip through the through the top, and then it, it's just like a little bitty um, umbrella for your for your coil, yeah. <laughs> and that that works I guess that that works pretty good. So mm -hmm. if you're gonna you know if you're gonna be out in the rain for a, a serious amount of time. Yeah, yeah. The rain would not; it wouldn't damage the Wolf River coil. You might no. be worried that it would maybe that would short out a couple of the turns, you know, as the water dripped down over the coil, maybe. But, but there's there's nothing that's going to be damaged by uh, mm -hmm. being wet. It's it's no, it's just wire and and plastic, whatever the core of the coil is made out of. Yeah, yeah. So, and it's, that's absolutely true. Now I've, I've had it out for an entire winter. I've had it coated with snow and ice and um, mm -hmm. rain and whatnot. And it doesn't, yeah, the, the coil is fine. So that's, that's not a, that's not a concern. I, and I know that they're designed to be used mobile. So, you know, the guys, Gary and Larry that build the things, they got the yeah. things on the back of their cars. So yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> So you yep. know they so you know the coil itself is going to take the it's going to take the weather. Yeah. <laughs> right. Another suggestion here, yeah, Callum, I think that's the DX commander guy. He smears his connections with Vaseline. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I don't yeah, I suppose if I don't want to if I don't have to remove it. <laughs> yeah. You, you ever try to unscrew one of those things when it's covered with Vaseline? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, coax seal. I've used that before. Um, have you ever tried to cut away the that that self amalgamating tape off of a coax connector because somebody used it at a repeater site and you had to get the get the cable off the antenna? Yeah, oh. yeah. Usually when it's twenty below zero. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had that job once. I wasn't on the tower. They had it. They they actually. Well, they, it's, it, it was, it, the, the coax had been cut, but I had that, yeah, that, that, that goop had to get taken off and I was yeah, dinking at it with a linoleum knife. It was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, on, a, on an 80 degree day, it's really soft and gooey. 
But mm-hmm. when it's 20 or 30 below zero, it's like cement. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's that's hard stuff. So. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.